Elf and Peyton Malone, you can still have the green beer, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> green can. beer at the green screen. How about that? Oh, I, maybe a little too early for that. What is it, 712? <laughs> it's New Orleans after all. All right, current visibility this morning. We do have some fog across some parts, mainly our coastal areas. Zero Galliano has dense fog. We've got dense fog in Slidell, but it's patchy here in New Orleans. We're looking good. You're going to run into fog over the lake and you're going to run into fog a little bit closer down towards the coast and the river. So uh, just keep that in mind here in New Orleans. We're looking good. That dense fog advisory will go until 9 a.m but we are not seeing any of it uh, here at the surface in the city itself. Today is going to be nice and warm once again. We'll get to 80 degrees. That's where we got to yesterday. Mix of sun and clouds. We'll see some sunshine out there later this afternoon and just a little bit of an east southeast wind at about 10 miles per hour. So overall, not a bad uh, spring day for sure. Tonight we'll get down to 58 once again on the North Shore 62. We're likely going to see fog once again as we wake up Sunday morning. So just keep that in mind if you got to be on the roads early, but a fairly mild start and that's where we're waking up uh, this morning as well. Our warm temperatures continue though through the rest of the weekend. 80 to 81, 82 Monday, 80, 80. And then, well, we get a cool friend in here. Look at this highs back into the 60s. So it is going to be chilly towards the end of next week, but until Wednesday, we are going to be running warm and it's going to be humid uh, as well. All right, live radar showing where all the activity is not a whole lot going on down here in the south. It's up to the north up in Oklahoma and portions of um, Tennessee and Arkansas. This cold front has been stalled up here. It's going to stay there uh, for the most part today, but by tomorrow it will start to move. By the way, they could have a pretty big severe weather event off into the panhandle of Texas on the scale we use. Remember one out of five, uh, you're just more likely to see severe storms as you go up the scale. They do have a level four that moderate risk just towards the east of uh, Amarillo. So that's where the severe weather threat will be today in this general zone. Uh, if we do see any storms tomorrow, not really expecting them to be severe, but we do see our rain chances increasing tomorrow. 30% chance Sunday, Monday, a 30% chance. We'll keep it at only a 30% chance on Tuesday, but it will start to go up as we go into late Tuesday and in especially into Wednesday. We're going to get a storm system in here on Wednesday, and that is going to bring us the potential for our first uh, kind of big day of severe weather here across the south. Here's what I'm talking about. Precision cast shows mainly uh, or partly cloudy, some sunshine through today. Tomorrow, maybe one or two little showers pops up. Not expecting much, but it would be during the afternoon and evening. Then on Monday, here comes that cool front, but as it gets close to us, it dissipates, it washes out, it stalls out. Just not going to be much to this. So our rain chances on Monday are not very high. Maybe one or two storms here or there. As we go into Tuesday, much of the same story. I think most of it will be just to our north. But Wednesday will be the day we get another cool front in here. There it is. And it's going to bring some showers and storms to the area. Right now, timing looks to be later on Wednesday. But the Storm Prediction Center already highlighting this giant area where they're calling for it could be a significant severe weather outbreak at some point Wednesday in this general area. And it's all things from high winds, large health to even tornadoes. So this is something we'll be watching. They're going to refine and, you know, add and subtract to that zone. And it's going to be changing around over the next couple of days. But right now it sits at a level two. I would not be surprised to see that go up for some areas. Maybe not our area, but for some uh, could be dealing with a big severe weather day on Wednesday. In the meantime, we got one final day of the great weather. Enjoy it today. Uh, don't forget you spring forward tonight at 2 a.m. Your clocks will go forward one hour. Watching the chance for storms Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, but doesn't look really severe down here those days. However, Wednesday for St. Patrick's Day, keeping an eye on that. And then we are sunny and cooler by Thursday and Friday.